right, so that lick, again, I'm super influenced by Hendrix, and he's my first, you know, kind of memory of hearing those double stop kind of bends together. So they sound really aggressive, and you, and you can really hit hard with them, and it's really almost like a cool Motown meets rock kind of a feel. So I really like using that. You know, if you want to hear some songs where it's done, you can check out, you know, Axis Bold as Love or Little Wing or any of the Hendrix or Stevie Ray Vaughan, another great example of somebody who's really, really good at using this technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little closer and check it out. All right. <laughs> Hurry up. All right. So with the double stops, double being in there, you're going to hit two strings at a time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm hammering on to the string that's above. So the string below, in this case, we're going to have the E and the B. I'm hitting both strings, but I'm hammering on to the B string. And the trick with that is rounding and curving your finger enough so it doesn't mute out the E string. So you got to really curve that finger. You know, you can't come in flat like this or you'll mute out that string below. So one thing you can do is just take this one little riff and just get the feel for You know, if, if you can, that hammer on getting them both ringing is pretty tricky. So you want to come down on your fingertip on your third finger. I use my third finger. Some people use their second. But just try getting that or whatever. And <laughs> Stevie Ray has a, has a song that starts out kind of like that. He goes to a different note, but that doesn't matter. So anyways, the riff is going to be repeated. We're just going up sets of strings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go. That's the pattern. So again, fifth fret together, B and E. I'm hammering on to the seventh fret of the B. And then I'm going to pull off. And then I'm going to go up to the G string and pull off seven to five. And then I'm going to hit the D string seventh fret. So again, it's and then what I do is I do the exact same thing on the next set of strings. So now I'm going to the G and the B fifth fret, pull off to the fifth fret, and then I'm going to do seven to five on the D. So we got. hit both of them together, but at the end of the riff, it's really only going to be the seventh fret D. So we got. So the, the pull off, hammer on and pull off part is kind of quick and compared to the rest of the riff. Right? Easy as that. 